think you can dance for six hours straight? Well, students at Braden River did Saturday for those that can't stand for themselves. SNN's Nadine Young has more from a dance marathon. Five-year-old twins Lennon and Logan were born seven weeks early. So we had a lengthy stay in the neonatal intensive care unit. Their mom, Katie Heck, says it was an overwhelming process. The babies are really, they're taken away from you, and you really entrust their care, which is really counterintuitive to being a new mom. Through six hours of dancing at Braden River's first ever dance marathon, the high schoolers are raising money for the child life specialist and the NICU at John Hopkins Hospital. I've put countless hours into it, so being here, knowing that that much money is going towards Miracle families who are also here, it's honestly like I have chills right now just thinking about it. I'm so happy. Having fun, playing games, all while raising more than $2,000 for the specialist position at John Hopkins. Sometimes. The doctors can come in and you have a team of doctors, so they're all talking about all these different areas of treatment and she's able to break all of that down into one clear, concise answer for you. Taking an unimaginable circumstance, making it understandable. And two, she's just there to make the family feel safe and like someone cares about what they're going through. Logan and Lennon are happy and healthy boys visiting John Hopkins for continuing care. Heck says they are grateful for the support. Especially our youth are able to see that there's a bigger world around them and want to do for other people. So really we're here to say thank you to them just so they can see that there's real people that they're affecting by raising this money. A generation fighting for the next. Reporting in Manatee County, Nadine Young, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.